if you want to find the least common multiple, there are two different ways. Uh, one way is to take each of these numbers and basically do prime factorization. So 9 is um, 3 times 3, which is 3 squared. 36. I'm going to come over here. 36 is, let's see, I'm going to start with 6 times 6. Those are not prime, so 6 is 2 times 3. 2 is prime. 3 is prime, and this 6 is 2 times 3, so that's 2 squared and 3 squared. Come back over here, and 30, come back over here again, 30 is 5 times 6, 5 is prime. And 6 is 2 times 3. So 2 times 3 times 5. So to get the least common multiple, we're going to use the, um, you have to use each of these factors, each of these numbers as a factor. You have to use the 2 and a 3 and a 5. And you have to use the one with the greatest exponent. So here we have a 2. So this one here, 2 squared is bigger than 2 to the first. So our least common multiple is going to be 2 squared. So here's a 3, but this one has a 3 squared. So we need the biggest, biggest exponent. And this is a 5, and there are no other 5s. So we'll use that 5 to the first power. And there aren't any other numbers. So let's see how we work this out. So this is 4. 3 times 3 is 9. That is 36 times 5. That is 180. So that is one way to get the least common multiple. Um, the other way is a, a little longer, especially for this one, so I don't think I want to work it out. But you start with the biggest number and you do 36 times 1 is 36. 36 times 2 is 72. It's kind of hard without a calculator. It's 36 times 3, um, maybe 108. And you keep going, and eventually you get to 180. And then you would do that for the 30. Da, 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 da. Eventually you work that up so you get 180 and 9. Eventually, 9 times something is 180. And you notice that they all three have a 180 in common, so that's the other way to do it. Um, and that's it.